Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Borussia Dortmund nil, Real Madrid CF2 in the 2024 UEFA Champions League final. Borussia Dortmund 0, Real Madrid CF2 in la Liga de Campeones de la UEFA final. Madrid wins the 15th. The 15th UEFA Champions League European Cup they've ever won. They've won the 15th. They extend their record, and as we speak, they're about to lift it. And there it is, number 15 for Real Madrid. They win 2-0 on the night. 0-2 esta noche. Pretty good. Second half won them the game. First half, they were questionable. Dortmund was the better team. Halftime score was 0-0. Cero a cero. Miro tiempo. Dortmund was the better team for the first half. They had the better chances. They played the ball forward whenever they had it. They did not have more possession. But Dortmund should have scored in the first half. They should have scored at least one or two goals. Adeyemi, the ball rolling past him way faster than he could get there when he had rounded the keeper. That was a bad situation that led to no goal. Fulke taking the shot. It goes off the post and out. Normally, that does roll in. There was a little bit of divine intervention that led to Madrid having a nil-nil draw at the half. But throughout the game, Thibaut Courtois was amazing. Made so many great saves. There's a reason why it was a clean sheet for Madrid. It was Thibaut Courtois coming back from injury straight up and just says, Hey, I'll... Save everything. Even though he was injured pretty much all year, he comes out and says, I'm going to save everything. He did. Man of the match is Thibaut Courtois. We got to give that to him. Second half. Goals were scored as follows. In the 74th minute, Tony Kroos puts in a cross. Danny Carvajal scores the header from the near post is where the header was. Across the net to the far post for Carvajal. The ball bundles into the far post. Koble can't get to it. Beautiful header by Carvajal. Scores the winning goal. Royce with the great assist on his swan song, at least club football-wise. We'll see what happens when it comes to the Euros. But Carvajal gets the goal. Royce with the assist. Beautiful play for Madrid. Nil one, cero uno esta noche. 84th minute, 10 minutes later, Jude Bellingham plays the ball into Vinicius Jr. Vinicius Jr. has all the room in the world to make the run. Shoots the ball across his body from the near post to the far post. Ball lasers into the net past Koble. Vinicius Jr. puts in the confirmer goal. Nil to Cero a dos esta noche. And that's how it will end. Nil to Cerrados. Madrid are the UEFA Champions League winners, the European champions. Campeon de Europe. Campeon de Europa. Big win. Big win for Madrid. The second half was way more Madrid. They very much dominated the second half. They played the ball forward. They looked like the better team throughout the first half. Or the second half, I should say. First half was Dortmund. This game was a game of two halves. Stats are as follows. 13 shots to 13. 4 shots on goal to 6. 43% possession to 57% possession. 403 passes to 549. 86% pass accuracy to 91. 12 fouls to 8. 1 offside to 0. 3, corners to, or three yellow cards to 1. 0 red cards to 0. 9 corners to 8. Here's the thing when it comes to Madrid. They had the better second half. They had the better second half. Dortmund could not score in the first half. Even though Dortmund was the way better team in the first half, they did not actually score. They should have scored. They didn't. Whether it was divine intervention, Courtois, or just it wasn't their night, they didn't finish. They dominated the first half. They couldn't finish. Second half, Madrid dominated the second half. They could finish. They did finish twice. They win the game. It's that simple. 
It's that simple. They finished two goals and got it done. And Madrid built into the game. They got better as the game went on than looking at the situation. They got better as the match went on. And that's exactly why they won, is they got better as the match went on. Dorman had their chances, and they're going to be kicking themselves that they couldn't make those chances go. They're going to be kicking themselves, whether it be tonight, tomorrow, a year from now. They're going to be kicking themselves that they could have easily made these chances go, and they didn't. Dortmund did not play a bad game at all. Madrid first half, their three best players were Thibaut Courtois, Kamavinga, and Rudiger. The second half is when Madrid showed that they're Madrid. Vinicius didn't really show up in the first half. Bellingham didn't really show up in the first half. Everybody past the midfield didn't really show up. Fanny Valverde looked questionable. Dortmund's first half best players, Fulkrug, Adeyemi, Kobel was good, Brent, like everybody on Dortmund looked amazing in the first half and hell, even looked good for parts of the second, especially the defense. Madrid showed their power in the second half. They saved everything for the second half, to be totally honest, whether that was the plan or not, it worked, it worked. They saved everything for the second half, and they won the match. They're the European champion. And you look at the game, and you're like, wow. How did they look so milk toast in the first half? Second half, they come around and look world-beating. And just think of it like this if you're a Madrid fan. You won a UEFA Champions League against a team who you probably were going to beat. This was kind of like Man City, Inter Milan, where there was obviously a favorite, and the favorite was probably going to win. But Madrid are going to get Mbappe and Alfonso Davies this summer. And they already have a great team around them. Like, Madrid could dominate Europe for the next three years. They could easily three-peat again, four-peat again, or actually do a four-peat. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They could honestly go full Leverkusen, and actually have an invincible season. Because Madrid, Barca's got problems. Girona's not going to be that good again. Atletico might bounce back a bit. Who knows? What I do know, Madrid's going to be absolutely a juggernaut. They weren't a juggernaut right now. They had weaknesses. They don't. If they get Davies and Mbappe, they do not have any weaknesses next year. And that's a big thing, is this Madrid had weaknesses. You saw it. Dortmund exploited those weaknesses. The fact they had no true striker. The fact that their defense at times was questionable. Courtois, they did test him, knowing he came back from injury. Not knowing Courtois would have Champions League final plot armor. But again, they, they did expose those weaknesses. Those weaknesses are going to be very much closed off expeditiously. And I hate it for Atalanta and anybody who's going to be in Madrid's way next year because it's not going to be fun. But with that being said, Madrid deservedly won the game, I think, in the end. The second half was much better than Dortmund's first. Again, Dortmund's going to kick themselves for not finishing because they should have. They had a lot of chances to finish. They didn't finish. And that's life. That sucks, but it's life. With that being said, Madrid well-deserved champions of Europe. Dortmund, they fought hard. Got to give them props. Just wasn't meant to be. With that being said, congratulations, Felicidades Madrid. Commiserations, Dortmund. If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification once subscribed. Send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. But it's a playlist. Share with friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you at 625. So about two hours from now, I will see you for the start of the double live, double review, the double live for DC United versus Toronto FC and the CONCACAF Champions Cup Final CF Pachuca versus Columbus Crew. And then after that game's over, both of them are over. We will do a double review for both those games and have that out 
as time goes on. With that being said, we got one more today. Two games, one double live, one double review. It's a crazy day, but we got more. So with that being said, I'll see you later. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace.